Originally, the doctor had planned to take Rose to the planet Barcelona. However, Rose was confused at what had just happened, thinking that the man in front of her had somehow teleported aboard and taken the doctor, not being familiar with regeneration. The doctor confirmed his identity by recalling their first adventure together and the first word that he said to her, run. He also told Rose, much to her disappointment, he couldn't reverse the process, the doctor she knew was gone. Instead, the newly regenerated doctor steered the TARDIS back to the Powell estate on Christmas Eve 2006, crash landing in the process after impulsively going too fast, before collapsing from post-regenerative trauma. Rose was distressed that the doctor had changed in appearance and personality, and had apparently left her, Mickey and Jackie to face the Sycorax invasion alone. When the TARDIS was taken aboard the Sycorax spaceship, she attempted to negotiate with them alone, but the Sycorax leader just laughed at her words. The doctor later revived and defeated the Sycorax leader in a sword duel. Rose also later witnessed the doctor causing the downfall of Prime Minister Harriet Jones for shooting down the fleeing Sycorax ship. He celebrated Christmas with Rose's family, and she resolved to continue traveling with him. TV, Children in Need Special, The Christmas Invasion, for the first of their new adventures together, the doctor took Rose to New New York on New Earth in the year 5 billion 23, where he had been summoned to a hospital via a message on his psychic paper. Taking a separate lift from the doctor up through the hospital, Rose was unwillingly showered in disinfectant and diverted down to the basement. There, she discovered Lady Cassandra, who had survived their previous encounter and used a psychograph to implant her consciousness onto Rose's own, gaining full control over her body with the intent of stealing it to live on for centuries. Cassandra attempted to pass herself off as a more seductive version of Rose for a while, at one point even surprising the doctor with an enthusiastic kiss, but her lack of empathy ultimately gave her away when she and the doctor discovered the feline sisters of plenitude who ran the hospital were experimenting on human subjects to develop cures. They exposed the sisters and freed the carriers, with Cassandra body swapping between the doctor and Rose several times along the way. Once she helped the doctor cure the infected new humans, though, she eventually went into the dying body of her servant Chip, freeing Rose at last. TV, New Earth, the doctor and Rose, dressed for 1979 Sheffield, mistakenly landed in 1879 Scotland, where the doctor unwittingly became a protectorate for Queen Victoria, who was targeted by the Brethren. They stayed at Torchwood House, where the Brethren wanted to place the bite of the lupine wavelength hemoveriform into Queen Victoria to put the wolf on the British throne. Rose and several of the house's staff were imprisoned in the cellar to be fed to this werewolf, but Rose coordinated their escape, and scolded the doctor when he finally arrived to help for taking so long. After the doctor used the ko i Noor and the house's light chamber to destroy the wolf with moonlight, the doctor and Rose were knighted, with Rose dubbed Dame Rose of the Powell Estate, but immediately banished as a threat to the British Empire. On the way back to the TARDIS, the doctor and Rose discussed the possibility of Victoria having become infected, joking that the royal family were all werewolves. TV, Tooth and Claw this incident prompted Queen Victoria to found the Torchwood Institute to address future alien threats, including the Doctor. TV, Tooth and Claw, Army of Ghosts. The Doctor attempted to take Rose to the Galapagos Islands, but the TARDIS landed in Twycross instead. The Doctor suddenly noticed a large gathering of monkeys, and used a bunch of bananas to lead them into the TARDIS. Traveling just outside the monkey enclosure at the Twycross Zoo, the doctor discovered that a group of five humans had been trapped inside. After freeing them and learning that they had been trapped by the zoo mascot in the lizard suit, he took Rose to the reptile house. There, they discovered that the reptile zookeeper was, in fact, a Silurian named Wanda who had trapped the humans in the enclosure because she believed that they were monkeys. After teaching Wanda about many of the differences between monkeys and humans, the doctor and Rose again departed for the Galapagos Islands. Comic Untitled. When the doctor brought Rose to see the saga of the Time Lords, the psychic paper identified her as the galaxy's preeminent expert on Gallifreyan culture, triggering an Aten trap for Time Lords. When the doctor deduced that the script was now part of the Aten's, he had Rose finish the play, ending their threat. Pros. He's behind you. The doctor attempted to take Rose to the moon, but the TARDIS veered off course and landed in a pub in Winchelham. The pair were then separated when the TARDIS took the doctor to Crediton Vale. Rose sat on the village green, where she saw Kate Yates appear to heal herself after being hit by a car. 
Rose took Kate to see the doctor at Credit and Vale, where they discovered that Kate had been overtaken by Dalek Factor released by a recently excavated Dalek. Rose and Kate then hitchhiked away from the Dalek casing in an attempt to weaken the Dalek Factor's effects, but Kate succumbed again and crashed the lorry they were inside in Twyford. When the newly active excavated Dalek came looking for Kate and massacred people in Twyford on the way, Rose reminded Kate of her humanity and ultimately caused her to betray and destroy her new Dalek master. Prose, I am a Dalek.